Did you know that small pieces of coral just the size of your finger could hold the key to restoring threatened coral populations in Florida and around the world? In 2023, we were conducting coral research through the Florida Keys and the Dry Tortugas and saw 100% mortality of the staghorn coral plots that we were studying. And that's why it was so remarkable when we heard in 2024, there might have been a few survivors in a deeper part of the dry tortugas. So in August of this year, we went back to the dry tortugas to see if we could find any survivors of that 2023 heat wave. We spent a few days diving out on the tortugas bank and we found and rescued branches from 43 colonies of staghorn coral which was amazing because we didn't know if we would find any survivors. So we brought back these finger-sized pieces of corals in the live wells of the research vessel, the Coral Reef 2, on the 22-hour trip back to Miami, where they were then transported onto four land-based gene bank facilities run by our amazing partners who will now be propagating those corals for future research and restoration. We're especially excited about these rescued corals because if they survived the record 2023 heat wave while all the others died, they may be particularly heat tolerant. And that means we could begin breeding these corals to generate even more heat tolerant corals to restore future reefs. Coral reefs are critically important, not only because they support 25% of all marine life, but they're a critical source of food, of medicine, and coastal protection to people all over the world. Climate change is the biggest threat to coral reefs. So if you want to help, just talk about it. Share these stories with your family and friends. Talk about climate change and its impacts on ecosystems around the world. And even come learn more about them here with us at SHED and donate to support our work.